out. Sorry for the long, long, long break. But anyways, my poor camera stopped working. Sometimes it works, but mostly it don't work. So anyways, I usually wing my videos. So let's just get started. I'd like to thank uh, some people. Uh, Jason Parker, Manuel Rivera, Andrew J. Fury, Mark McConnell. Thank you for helping me out. But anyways, uh, I'd like to familiarize myself with this camera uh, by making some short videos. And with this video, I'm going to make some Saskatoon Bannock. Okay? Well, first, we got to get some Saskatoons. Some right there. Let's go get it. Okay? Okay. When you're out picking berries, always keep an eye out for bears. They're sneaky, they got padded feet, you can't hear them. When I used to work in the mountains in Fort Leard, we take a bear awareness course. You got a Identify the bears. Like a grizzly bear, they're territorial, so they'll knock you around and you'll be. But, anyways, they're territorial, and um, the black bear, you're gonna have to fight because they're more scavengers. So, anyways. I'll keep picking, and picking, and picking. So after I pick a couple, I'll wash it. Oh, I can't wait to take you guys out in the bush to dry some fish, huh? Wouldn't that be awesome? Awesome. Crazy awesome. Last time I was in this lake, it was February. When I pulled my my traps or and snares, the link season was over. So it'll be awesome to go back out there. Set some rabbit snares out there. Make rabbit rice. Just like my grandma. Okay, I'll pick the rest of this and then I'll get back to you. Okay, I filled my cup with Saskatoons, and don't mind me, I'm a little camera shy, so just bear with me. So anyways, I'll go wash this, and I'll get my stuff together, like my flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, water. Okay? Let's go that way. Oh.
Okay, we washed our blueberries, or Saskatoons. Ooh, Saskatoons. Okay. Grab some flour. About four cups. Three counting. Okay, four cups. Maybe about two tablespoons baking soda powder. About a teaspoon of salt. Mix her up. Okay, it's all mixed up. I'm forgetting something. Sugar. I'll be right back. A tablespoon of sugar. Mix her up. Left ways, right ways, left ways, right ways. Or whatever way you want. Okay, this is not like grease panic where we mix everything up. We'll make a well in this one. Eh? Make a hole in the middle. Pour about two cups of water. Two cups of water. About three tablespoons of oil. Mix her up. You're stirring it and you're grabbing some of the flour on the sides. You want to mix everything up like that, it's going to fall apart on you. Okay? You don't want panic to fall apart on you. See, I'm just grabbing it from the sides as I go around. I'll throw some Saskatoons in now. About half a cup, I guess. Guesstimated. Before I dip my hands in there, I'm gonna spray my pan. I got my oven already preheating. At Added too much water.
Okay, I'm making patties, bannock patties. Yep, we're just about there. I never made this before, but I might as well try. I tasted it before, a long time ago when I was like 10 years old. It was awesome. So this will be my second time tasting it. And I made it. Or we made it. Okay. Now you fork it. There's this lady up in Fort Leard. Her name is Rita. She made bannock and she put fish in her. I thought that tasted so awesome. So maybe next time I'll put fish in her instead of Saskatoon's fish from the lake. Okay? Let's go put this in the oven now. At 450, right? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's my blueberry bannock, or Saskatoon bannock. That's my Saskatoon bannock. Oh, that's hot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So anyways, this is my Saskatoon Bannock and I'm just familiarizing myself with this uh, video camera and thanks for watching and peace.